New product development and production can require a deeper understanding of signal quality, both for input and output signals. The pass-fail test function of the oscilloscope can be used to easily automate this task. Here we have a square waveform output from a test circuit board. It features an abnormality every 100,000 periods. We can have a look and see how to discover these abnormalities using the pass-fail test function. Open the pass-fail test interface and enable the test. The blue shadow region indicates the fail region. During the test, if the waveform measured at a certain time passes through the fail region, the waveform is treated as a failure. Press operate to immediately enable the test. Press mask range to set the fail region. The oscilloscope also provides various output modes for the test result. For example, you can enable the message display to display the full test results on the screen. You can enable or disable the stop on output to set whether to stop the test when failed waveforms are detected. The default is off, which allows you to continue testing even though failed waveforms are detected. Other options include fail or fail plus beeper, and enable the auxiliary outputs on the rear panel to output a pulse when failed waveforms are detected. Before enabling the test, set the fail region according to your test requirements. You can select the screen or cursor region as the mask setting region. When cursor regions are selected, you can set the mask setting region by adjusting the vertical cursors A and B. After selecting the mask setting region, set the mask range using X mask and Y mask controls. For example, when the X mask is selected, a pair of white cursors are displayed on the screen during the adjustment. After adjusting the cursors to the proper positions, press Create Mask to create the horizontal mask, then use the same method to set the Y mask. After setting the fail region, press Operate to enable the test. When failed waveforms are detected, abnormal waveforms are displayed on the screen, and the current number of failed frames, number of passed frames, and total number of frames tested are displayed in the prompt box at the upper right side of the screen. This concludes the introduction to the pass-fail testing capabilities of Regal oscilloscopes. The key points include opening the test interface, creating the test mask, set the output mode, and enabling the test function. Thank you.